thanks for tuning in. My name is Paul. I'm a restoration person here at Battleship Cove. And today's video is going to be basically we're going to organize a 16 inch powder magazine. The cans have been recently acquired some new ones. We have a whole bunch of old ones down there, but it was never really organized properly. So myself, along with another volunteer here, Tom Lowney, who actually did this in the Navy. He was a gunner's mate. We're going to go through and make it a proper exhibit and make it proud to show off to the public and have everyone like what we do. So please follow along and thank you. Huh? Alright. No, I'm just trying to get a higher perspective right now. Once we move some out of the way, then we can create a path and it'll make it easier to get the others anyways. Yeah, let me First of all, Tommy, move Cranks over there. What? Oh, they got it past the limit. Yep. Stupid, idiotic momos. It's probably bags in here. That one's the same way. Oh, this one's the same way right here. This one's the same way. in this? What? Take a wild guess. <laughs> Sand? Water. How? I don't know. There's water in here. There's no drains in here, is there? Like that over here. Because the seal's gone. Find one. Thank you. 
the sandy grab the back. Yep. One bulb here. Two bulbs. One, two. Oh, yeah. The box is right here under my bag. Let's put the gasket back, right? You see the bracket inside there that goes across? Yep. Got one that recesses further. Exactly. See all the space you got behind it? Yeah, you can put that in there at least another inch easy. It's kind of weird that there's no bulb over there, or is there supposed to no, be? No, because there's a stack there. Why would you need light? Yeah, true. My imagination are these cans shorter. <laughs> Your guess is correct, sir. What's in these dummy charges? Sand. They're weighted to make them a hundred pounds. So you want to put the wrong cans on that side? Well, first I want to put a few cans in here. Put them here. 
at least two rows, a, a row of cans. Yeah. Why are these bigger? 1650? Exactly. Boom. See how they interlock? Yep. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Take those cans, plop them on top of the water we're going to put here. Yeah. These are 15, yeah. Are quite heavy. the wrong facts. Sixteen forty five. Thank you. 
That was a squeezer. Did you know that that whole room was made of copper? Huh? Said, so, did you know that whole room out there is made of copper? Jeez. Oh, that's what the expert said. <laughs> All right. Hang on. I'm gonna get by you. Yep. <laughs> You're in the shot. <laughs> That's the beauty of the wide angle. No, don't worry about it, man. I got it. I got it. The thing is, though, do those even belong on board, the 50s? You could. Because you'd fire the 2,700 pounder. Could, the but. The pressure is a little bit excessive, but it's within tolerances. But so you would, did, we, did they ever use them on board here that we know of? I couldn't tell you, but I think they did. Got it on a scoop? I think they did. Yeah. Now, if I was to do this exhibit room, I would put all the new bags in here. The sick bees here. Yeah, the white bags. I say dummy on them. Because these are yellowed. Severely. Yeah, uh, most of these are already gone. Right, they need the new covers and new stencils. So, what I want to do... The face is gone. Did he load this whole thing up? Tell me. Shine a light down there and see. You want to catch this thing? I'll tip the can. It's just one. That's what I need. Shorty. Yeah, just spin it on top of that. Oh, I bet you put it in the behind you and in between those two. In between those two, right. Watch it. This is heavy. I got it. Not even close. This whole stack, except for the bottom row, are those short cans. Right, and I want to do this reversals. So I want to put three more cans in there. Of the long ones? Yeah. These are in the way, so. Start stacking them out near the plexi over there.
that will work. This is here. It's a D on this. 45. Now, yeah. HC spec. No, no lead point. 16 tank mark 2 mod 2 Is that, right, is that one of the long ones? Not lighter. Look at this. Drop your end down. Rotate it. Up and over. You want this in third spot? Yep. Oh, actually, put it in the fourth spot. Got it? Yep. Four. Number four. I don't think the back edge is going all the way. No, it's not. It's not working. Like How many of these do we have? We have what? One, two, three, four, five of them. Six. 
Six, all right. That's your chest of fortitude. Got it. Got it. This one up by the ass. I think we can scoot it right in there. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. I'm just maneuvering because I was comfortable. Three more. No, Those two. Right. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if these are stable so I can walk on them. Oh, they're stable. That's how they're supposed to turn a lock. Yeah. Okay, so it is. Something in it? No, just the cover key. Ah. Oh, hand me the butt first. <laughs> Way better than it was. It actually resembles a stack of cans. Yes.
You know why? Why? Because the bottom one ain't set right yet. Oh, geez, those are wedged. Yeah. Boom. You got it, buddy. That's how you move them. Boobus erectus. Got your flashlight handy? Yep. out that's why it wasn't fitting see how you gotta play with these freaking things <laughs> yep Gunner's mate. <laughs> Wait, what? You know what you're doing? You're fired. You're fired. See how these step this way and step that way? Yep. See how the crow's feet are? They're offset, yeah. Boom. They don't fit. Mm -hmm. Beat them in. That's so much easier than making it the way it was designed. <laughs> yeah, we're making a little noise. Yeah, well, you heard when the parents moved the furniture? Another <laughs> story. We're moving ammo. Wanna hop on in, Paul? Alright, which side are we starting from? Let's start your end. No, actually, we'll just get him in. Hang on. These stack, yeah, they stack pretty much vertically, well, offset from each other. More to go. 180 out. Boom. Ta -da. How you like me now? How you like me now?
forward a little bit. <laughs> Turn it. Which way? This way a little bit. Not too much. Is that going on that side or this side? Bring it to me. Look better than just stupid piles. There's something in there. No, it's my imagination. Some luck. Two more, and then one back cell. And then, because there's another stack directly behind this stack, right? Something in it? Rock. <laughs> How big? Gravel. Ah. Yeah, another good winter field day project. Just paint the overhead. Going all the way back up. There we go. taking the bags out they didn't take the whole cans out of the racks they just opened the lid and pulled the bags out right what put them in the rack no when you were actually taking the bags for firing you would just take the can lid off leave the can in place and pull the bags Just 
Just relieving the pressure. Four. We have a nardy. What's up? Hey, Chris. How are you? Come to workout world, <laughs> Battleship Cove. Yeah. The hatch is unlocked if you want to come up. side. No. no. we don't have enough example. Well, we could. What do you think? I don't know where this is going to be what they see mainly. Do you want a full populated wall of them or? Good thought. Was he at the hatch? No. Because that's just my thought. If we fill this rack completely, that leaves that area over there to hide anything we want to hide. You need a powder bag? Yep. And because of the angle, you don't have to fill that rear rack as much. Yep, I can get this in. Got that in? Yep. I got a bad feeling here. Your end won't go in because I'm I'm pretty much slotted in. If you can kick your end, well, that's the problem. I hit the pipe. Oh shit! So I think what we have to do is get the back end in first, then roll that in. Stand by. Yep. Yeah. Unless you're a 16 inch gunner. 
I don't know. Huh? I I doubt it. I'll move my side over. All right. Kick your side in first, I'll move my side over. Right. If you like what you saw here in our videos, please feel free to like and subscribe to the videos as well as follow us on Facebook. There'll be a link down in the description for that. And if you live nearby or in the Fall River area or live somewhere in Massachusetts and you actually wanna help out and like what we do here and want to actually chip in we're always willing to have volunteers you can go to our website which will be linked in the description again and fill out a volunteer application and come down here and we'll show you what we do and find a good place for you and figure out what you want to do to help restore the massachusetts or any other ships we have here at battleship cove thanks again